Hey guys, Papa Rome's here today. I'm gonna teach you how to catch just and fillet lake trout. One episode you don't wanna miss, stay tuned. <laughs> Just got a 20 inch laker. Happy to have some fish to eat tonight. Hey guys, Papa Ropes here. We're out fishing. It's early season for lake trout and brown trout. And we just hooked up. With our first laker of the year, nice 21 incher. And uh, we're just trolling some lures right now. Really doesn't matter what lure or color, you can use even rubber worms and jig the bottoms. They're hitting them. So we're just getting out. Footage is a little shaky, but uh, at least we caught a fish. It's a bit choppy out here with the wind today. So we'll uh, stay tuned and we'll try to bring more to you. All right. So we're gonna clean them. Got them all ready. All right, well, I'm pretty stoked. This is the first trout of the year, my first day out fishing. Uh, went out for just a few hours, didn't have live bait. The bait shops are kind of limited right now with everything going on. So I'm just using uh, lures like I used to and trolling and we got lucky. Would have had two, but I tried to hand off the rod and we lost the other one. But uh, we'll have plenty more fish to get this year. All right, here he is. And I'm pretty happy about that. So I just figured I'll do a video because the footage wasn't good about the fishing part of it. I know the footage wasn't too hot with the fishing, but I know he's going to be a good eating fish. So I'm just going to do a bit of a cleaning on him too. I have other videos of how to clean them, but this is just another way uh, how to fillet him out if you want to. And I use 550 cord for a stringer. I find it to be easy. Um, goes in and out. Just tie a loop here and you have an easy stringer, cheap and effective. All right, so you have your lake trout here and you have your midline line coming down with that fin here, the dorsal fin. So the way I do it is for lake trout and brown trout, I just kind of do a cut right behind the gill plate here. See that one line you could come, you have this piece here. I just come at an angle like 45 behind it. I come straight down. Now I hit here to the spine, turn the blade, bend it. Cause these blades are meant to flex. And I just kind of run my knife along the rib cage. Everybody does it different. I figured it's trout season. You guys want to learn how to do it. And there you go. Now I'll show you how to take out the bones after. This is all his intestines. Uh, right now it looks like he's eating more bugs than anything. Liver here if you wanted to eat that. And then you flip it over and do the same thing. But now because... Oh, he's still moving. Because he... Uh, because you cut out a lot, what you want to do is I take my knife here and I cut out the belly piece. You could eat that if you like. Some people do. And then I do the same thing here. I get a 45. Coming down. Turn. And this is avoiding the belly here on this side. Okay. I have two nice fillets. I actually keep the heads. Um, I keep all this. I recook it because you could uh, get a lot of good stuff out of it or you could use it for your garden. On these trout, you have two sets of areas of bones you can remove. Um, I did it two different ways to show you. The first way, I took the rib cage out with it. 
And the second way I avoided the rib cage so you don't have to cut it. That's why I cut the belly out. So it's just kind of two different ways to do it. But I prefer to keep the rib cage on and I cut it out now. The other thing you're going to need to do is there's a row of bones right here. And if you run your finger, you can feel them. So there's a little blood here. I know that, but you can see them here. So the way you get these bones out, you get your knife blade in there very carefully and you make an incision in front of them. And when you put your finger, you'll feel they lift. So what you want to do is cut all the way down to the skin and those go three quarter of the way down the fillet. See here? And then being that they're like this, you want to keep that angle pitched and you're going to want to come back over them this way. Same thing. So you can see them here. See these bones? That's them. So if you're filleting your fish, you're going to want these out. If you don't get it out, you know, then you're going to have all tiny little bones in there. It's not like salmon that you could pluck it out later or whatever. They're, they're tough to get to. So, okay. So now you have that one there. I usually just kind of come through here, cut that out. And now you have your rib cage here. Uh, what I do is I just start getting my knife under it. Usually I cut the ribs out first so it's easier, but I don't know. If you want to get another knife or a fork here to hold it. And just get your knife right up underneath it and you're bending your blade again. You're bending it. That's why you have a fillet knife. They're designed to do that. And as you do it, see how they all come out? Just like that. Now here, I have the little, um, I cut that off because I have the fin here and I cut that out. So now you have all your bones out. You might have one or two up in the front here. And you have a full fillet. That's perfect. No bones anywhere. Now you take at the end here. You want to get that skin off. Or you can scale it. Either one. Just kind of go down. Bend that blade. Hold back that chunk. And just go a little bit. And just ride the skin all the way out. That's it. Skin comes off and you have yourself a beautiful filet. Looks like you got it from the supermarket. And that's all. As you can tell, there's nothing left on here. That's it. Take this out. And you have two beautiful fillets.